Late last year, we shared the news that Lucas Oil confirmed expansion with Richard Childress Racing and Kyle Busch for 2024. The relationship between Lucas Oil and RCR dates back 10 years now and has re resulted in more than 20 trips to Victory Lane. So it's a no-brainer. That partnership includes driver Kyle Busch, who currently ranks 13th in the NASCAR Cup Series with 167 points in seven starts. And joining me now with more on all that's going on is two-time NASCAR Cup champion and driver for RCR Racing in that number eight chevy mr kyle bush how are you my friend all right doing well how about yourself wonderful uh your first race with lucas oil in last year's nascar cup series resulted in a win and continued your streak of 19 consecutive seasons with at least one victory at nascar's highest level it sounds like a fairy tale partnership yeah no it certainly was it uh it fired off with a bang there and, and being able to score that win at fontana and being the last race at Fontana, that'll forever be etched in history of uh, of being the last race there for the NASCAR Cup Series. So, um, you know, definitely uh, was excited to join Richard Childress Racing and have a great partnership with all of the different sponsors that we've had. But, um, you know, Lucas Oil being there for, for 10 years and being the oil supplier for Richard Childress Racing and ECR Engines to then get a chance to uh, have them kind of step up and be a primary partner on the sponsorship side of being a, having a paint out, we call it. And, um, you know, having a few races throughout the season, it's really exciting for me. And every time I, I get to the track and have, have, have the opportunity to see the Lucas folks, they're always pumped up and excited to go. So uh, it's been a really great partnership. Uh, the Bush name has been in racing for a really long time and, and almost synonymous with it at this point. Keeping it all in the family, Lucas Oil will also be represented by your son Brexton in his 2024 racing program. Talk about the rich history of family in NASCAR. Yeah, that's the thing is like my dad got my start, you know, and, and my dad's dad was a car guy. So obviously kind of got us in the uh, in the automobile industry, if you will, and in the motorsports industry and being racers ourselves. So uh, my dad was just an amateur racer, but um, he won a lot and won some championships and stuff at the local level. And then, um, you know, gave his footing to Kurt and myself and being able to keep the Bush name going in NASCAR. And now it's it's my my turn to pass it on to my son, Brexton. So um, he's living it up, man. He travels the country. We race all over. We put him with some of the biggest names and the toughest competition we can to just try to keep his, um, you know, his learning curve strong. And uh, he's got a steep one, but he's also got a lot of great help behind him with with me being a teacher, the, a couple of guys that work with us being experienced in the realms that that we've got him racing in. But uh, yeah, you mentioned it this year where he's got partnerships with Surf Pro, which is his main sponsor, but also Lucas Oil is an associate sponsor and supply all of our oil needs for uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports still uh, to keep us uh, lubed and ready and in the winter circle. You mentioned that advice. I have two daughters. They don't listen to me about anything. <laughs> Does Brexton listen to you when you give him some advice or is he like, dad, I got it? Yeah, a little bit of both. A great question. Uh, actually, a lot of other dads in the race industry that we go race against their kids, you know, they ask me, they go, how do you get your kid to listen to you? And I'm like, read my resume. I think my resume <laughs> speaks for itself. So he does actually give me a little bit of credit for uh, for being knowledgeable in the racing space, being as uh, experienced and um, I guess as, uh, as fruitful as I've, as I've been. So he gives me that respect. That's good. Uh, you're going to run that Lucas oil paint scheme on your car for this weekend's cookout 400 at Martinsville speedway. Overall, it's shaping up to be a, a pretty awesome race. What's your perspective going into this weekend? Yeah. I mean, Martinsville is always, um, a kind of, a, a tough short track for me. I, it took me a long time to kind of get a hold of it, but then, um, you know, 2013 time frame to about 2017 time frame, I really had a good handle on it. And the cars that we were racing, you know, and stuff like that were different than the ones we have now, but was able to score a few wins, I think two or three wins there in that time period. And then since uh, a little bit of a dry spell. So uh, would love nothing more than to get back to victory lane. But, um, you know, it's it's no shock. We've kind of struggled at the short tracks a little bit uh, as of late. So we've got our work cut out for us. We're trying to punch through the notes and push through what we know has worked and what hasn't worked. And, and we've found a lot of things that hasn't worked. So we're trying to get away from that and uh, get ourselves in good position for our Lucas Oil Chevrolet this weekend. I'm curious about this. I grew up watching racing. My dad was a big racing fan. My grandpa race fans are loyal to their racers, right? What's that like for you knowing that there are people who love Kyle Busch and there are people who, for some reason, really don't like Kyle Busch. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's been my story uh, since the very beginning, you know, when I came into NASCAR, but no, you're right. I, I think the NASCAR fan base is, uh, is, is, very tight to their particular driver or a particular sponsor maybe or a particular manufacturer um and so they kind of all have these allegiances that they form and then from there it's hard to separate you know but um they do give 
uh, to their drivers. You know, they give a lot of, um, you know, not just respect, but notoriety to their sponsors. I, I tell you, I feel like Lucas Oil as well as Cheddar's are probably some of our most um, fan friendly on social, um, you know, sponsors that we have that uh, just keep fan engagement rolling with everybody. And, and everybody really has a great time being able to, to be a part of our program and the special giveaways and things like that, that happen throughout the, the year as well too. Everybody loves that stuff. So it's nice when you have sponsors that kind of lend into your fan base. Well, for what it's worth, we are a Kyle Busch fan base in our household, and we love that number eight chicken strip basket at Cheddar's. So it all works out perfectly. There you go. Yeah, exactly. We want to win some so you can get some. Absolutely. Well, we can uh, certainly root you on this weekend for the Cookout 400 at Martinsville Speedway, rooting on that red and blue. Kyle, thank you so much for your time. We certainly appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Moral Indiana, next. You're watching 